Okay, so duplicate notion, hello. Have we broken Notion already? This video is pretty simple. Notion says the free plan has unlimited pages and unlimited blocks, so let's put it to the test. Now, a pages versus database pages, I'm going to pick database pages because I would imagine it's going to be easier for me to count and keep track of everything that's going on in a database than it is in a normal page. Having said that, I will probably still try and do as many pages as possible, but let's see how Notion and my computer manages. Made a database, now let's see if I can push enter and see how long we last. Okay, I'm at a thousand and I'm bored. <laughs> there must be a quicker way of doing this. Let's highlight all of the pages and then just duplicate it. Then I'm going up in thousands. That's much quicker than ones. We could be here some time. There is literally no visual change other than the sidebar slowly crawling upwards. Now while I'm waiting for this scroll all the way up, there is an actual practical point to testing this out. So a lot of people, when they're using master task database, master project database, master notes database, or anything like that, they're going to have loads and loads of pages. And over time, I would imagine those pages are gonna stay archived. So potentially you could have a couple hundred thousand different pages in a database for past tasks past notes or anything like that. And if they start crashing or you can't filter for them or the relations don't start, don't, don't stay working, then you kind of want to know that beforehand. So I'm going to try and do as many pages as we can. We're almost at the top now. So I may, I may move you back down below so you can see what's going on. Okay, so duplicate notion, hello. Have we broken notion already? I think I've frozen notion. So I've tried to duplicate a thousand pages. It ain't working. Yeah, I can't click anything. I can't scroll. <laughs> I think I've broken Notion. It is at this point you turn it off and turn it back on again. Notion? The database didn't have zero pages in it. It should have had 4,000. No Notion, it had 4,000. <sighs> Okie dokie then. Can't do it that way. Time to use Excel. There we go, so we can copy and paste from Excel. Maybe we do it that way. So I can go all the way down with this. That's much quicker than Notion. There we go, look at that. 200, nice. Where are we gonna hit? Should we go to, yeah, let's go to a thousand, see if we can put it in, and then see if we can duplicate that. Oh, look at that, much faster. Much, much faster. Oh. Sorry, that request was too large. Too large. Try import instead. Okay, so I can't copy and paste it in because a thousand pages is too large. Let's try importing. So, merge CSV. Thousand pages from Excel. Let's see if this can do it. It's importing. There we go. I think we've got it. What has it done to the numbers? What? Why would you import them with number 946 at the top? Okay. Okay, Notion. If you say so, Notion. Um, we've got a one at the top. We don't want a one at the top. So let's get rid of that. We want it to look good. So we, we need something at the top. Let's go. Insert. Number. Boom. Save that now. So if I get rid of these three, dots, merge with CSV, thousand pages, importing a thousand pages. Hey, hey, there we go. So we've got a thousand pages and it's even telling me count a thousand. Nice. Can I just import it again? Merge CSV. 
thousand pages. Here we go. Yeah, hey. Now we have two thousand. So the question is, how big can I import it? Nice. Ten thousand. Save it. Merge with CSV. Will it let me import ten thousand pages? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. It's thinking about it. It's thinking and thinking and thinking. Yes! Look at that, we got 10,000 pages in there. Yeah, I ain't scrolling down there now. <laughs> so we got 12,000 pages in there. How big can I export it? Let's go all the way to the top, come back down, and then let's go. I wonder how big a document I can import into a Notion database. So we've gone 10,000. I think the next suitable number is 100,000. Five, four, three, two, one, yay! Okie dokie then. Merger CSV. It's no longer a thousand pages, it's now a hundred thousand pages, but I'm not going to rename it because I'm just going to go further. And while I'm waiting for that to import, I'm going to go have something to eat. Well, that's unfortunate. It still brought in a fair amount of pages though. Why are we at 62,999? Let's just import it again and see how many pages we go to. So it's 62999. Merge with CSV. Oh yeah, you can see the number changing. You can see the number changing down here. Count zero, excuse me. It was not zero. Keep importing Notion. Do what you're told. Ah, import failed. Where do we get to? We were at 62999. Thank you, Notion. Sorry. Okay, calculator needed. So what's that? 149498 take away 62999. What? Why is it? That's not consistent. It's imported. That makes... Okay, those people in the comment section that understand coding and understand the behind the scenes, how has it imported two separate numbers? That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to do it again and see if it's the same number. Oh. I mean, I'm not complaining, but why did it work this time? Let's do it again then. Don't tell me it's broken again. Maybe it's a case of waiting, so I'm going to wait. No, there's more than zero. There should be 300,000 pages. Hmm. Why? Why has it just disappeared? Is it because I'm importing things? No, it can't be because I duplicated the other ones. <laughs> what? Come on. Just appear. Just appear. Yes! There we go. So maybe it didn't break earlier. It was just trying to load the things in. It is certainly struggling with 449,000 pages. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't like it. It really doesn't like it. And I haven't even got to the big number that I was aiming for. Like, I wanted to try and get to a million pages because, hey, yeah, let's do it. Um, but it's struggling at 449,000. Notion. Come on. Unlimited. Unlimited. Let's try a filter. <laughs> um, right. It's filtering for one, and I know there's a one in there. I think there's quite a lot of ones in there. I mean, one is the first number that's in the Excel spreadsheet, and we've imported that, what, three times? Ah! There we go! Wait, is that... It has taken the filter, and it's worked. We have eight number ones. It is working. It just takes some time. You know what that means? <laughs> More pages! So what seems to be happening to the database is I can still filter for individual pages as long as I know the name of the pages. So I've got 100,000 four times because I've imported that, that Excel spreadsheet four times currently. But I can't actually see how many pages I have in the space. So I don't know how many times it's imported 
all of them, because as you saw earlier, they, they they were inconsistent with how many pages they actually imported. So I have four of these pages, but I may only have three of another number somewhere in that spreadsheet. Uh, so I'm not actually sure how many pages I currently have because it's not loading. It's, it's not telling me. So apparently I have zero pages in this database, which is uh, obviously not right because I have four above it and I have over 400,000. I think I have around 750,000 pages, but I don't no, because Notion's just Notion's just, just 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 broken. It's not telling me. So what that obviously means is I can't get to my goal of one million pages because I don't actually know how many pages I have, how many pages I've got left to go, and when I will get there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this database, insert another one, and then see how far I can get and actually still see the pages in the database page. So let's go again. So checking back in, we've had another failed import, 373,499. Basically, it didn't import all of them, it imported 70, 73,499. So maybe that is its limit, I'm not sure, in the page. So let's go to the, the database and see. Yep, we can still go all the way down. It's taking a bit of time to load, though. Let's give it a second. Okay, maybe maybe that is the page limit where it starts to go... No, no, because that's that's around the same sort of page size uh, as last time. Now going into the Chrome browser, we get the same result. We have a count of zero. So even though it says unlimited, it's not actually unlimited. Somewhere between 300,000 and 400,000, Notion starts to go, what are you doing? Excuse me, hold up. Um... So I'm gonna leave the video there. If you do have any questions or maybe ideas about how else I could test this, maybe certain amount of relations in a property, roll-ups in a property, numbers in a property, let me know in the comment section below if you have any ideas. But yeah, I broke Notion.